Hello all, uh, Dame Nix here, uh, Inky Fingers, working on some vintage uh, Japanese fountain pens. And today what I want to share with you is how to restore, uh, repair an old uh, Japanese pilot uh, knob filler. I've heard them called different things, click filler. Um, and they're uh, very interesting. What I have here is a, a new old stock. Um, pilot pen. Uh, this is a desk pen. Um, and it came in this original box, uh, which is really nice, nice pen. And never been used. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, straight out of, uh, you know, somebody's uh, uh, stock back in uh, Japan. I bought these a few months ago. And uh, this has that click filling system that uh, was standard on a lot of the fountain pens that Pilot made uh, during the 19, late 1950s, 1960s, and even into the 1970s. And uh, it's a, a fairly effective, uh, uh, you know, filling system for the pen. And uh, so uh, I'm going to describe uh, just exactly what it's all about here in just a second. So, uh, so basically it's got this little uh, knob on the end. Uh, on this case, it's red and a uh, little silver um, cylinder that it, uh, there's a rubber sack inside. And the way that you fill this is that you uh, simply depress this little knob, uh, put your pen in the ink, uh, ink bottle. I have an ink bottle here. I'm not going to actually uh, do that at this point. Um, but um, once your, uh, your nib is uh, immersed in the ink, you release that little knob and it sucks in the ink. Uh, and basically what you have, uh, I'll demonstrate or show it to you in just a second, but you have a rubber sack inside the pen that then sucks in the ink. Now, when you're restoring these, the very first thing that you've got to do is, uh, you know, get this, uh, this cylinder off the pen. And on this uh, new old stock pen, it's going to be pretty simple. Now, on those that have been uh, lovingly used, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, sometimes sort of difficult. And, uh, you know, there's been ink buildup inside. And uh, the best way to, to deal with that is to simply uh, uh, soak the pen for a day or two or three. Uh, I soak them in my ultrasonic cleaner. Um, and then hopefully you'll be able to actually uh, pull the pen apart. Now, uh, this one's going to come across, uh, come apart sim very pretty simple. And I'll do that right there. And so you see it did come apart. Now, usually what you find when you uh, take apart the, the used pens is that that old sack uh, has hardened inside this, uh, this cylinder and it's going to be difficult to get out. So even once I get them apart, I go ahead and then I immerse this back in the, uh, in the ultrasonic cleaner. I run the uh, ultrasonic a number of times um, and then I very gingerly try to, uh, you know, remove the old sack. Now what I use, um, I like to use, uh, an old, uh, very small crochet hook. Um, and that will, uh, bring out some of the pens, uh, some of the, some of the parts. Sometimes I have to use a sharp, uh, to actually, uh, you know, get under the, uh, the rubber that is stuck along the sides. Uh, but you have to be very, very careful with this because, well, first of all, you don't want to stick yourself with that thing. It's very sharp. That's an old uh, ice pick, uh, Coca-Cola, you know, double, doing double duty. I actually had a, a tool uh, that was just a sharp uh, with a rubber handle, but somehow I've misplaced it. Uh, so, but, uh, but you have to be very careful with that because it's very easy to damage this uh, this mechanism. Now, what I'll show, I'll show you what the mechanism is. And this uh, system is very much like a uh, Parker button filler, uh, except for at a much smaller scale. So uh, what I have here is I have a, uh, a spring-loaded, uh, you know, bar. This is actually from a Parker pen. Uh, this is a newer one that I uh, picked up at the pen show. And the way that this works is uh, that you insert this in the back of the barrel of the, the Parker pen, and uh, there is a rubber sack inside. And of course, then you have a button on this end. Uh, and when you depress the button on the pen, it uh, expands, uh, it's got a spring steel piece here and a flat uh, uh, bar, and that bar then uh, depresses the sack. And when you release it, then the sack, uh, you know, uh, sucks the, uh, the ink in uh, from the bottle. Now, let me show you the difference between this one and the one that we're dealing with, 
uh, in the pilot. This is uh, actually one from a pilot pen. Uh, much, much smaller, much uh, more delicate, if you will. And um, uh, they are very easy to, uh, to destroy. And uh, once it comes out, uh, I've not been able to actually get them back in. There's a small uh, piece of metal that holds uh, that piece in. And so if you're going to work on one of these, be very, very careful with that, uh, with that uh, uh, cylinder and the, uh, the piece inside. So what you'll find when you uh, take that, uh, that uh, uh, the rubber sack off, it'll look like this, and it's got a little uh, piece right here that uh, uh, is actually, I've, this is another pen, uh, often another pen, uh, a parts pen. Uh, and you can see that this actually has uh, somebody, it has a crack in the, uh, in the section, and somebody's actually sealed it up with, uh, with glue or something. But of course, that doesn't work very well. Um, and so uh, you've got this little, this is what it looks like when you get that rubber sack off. And I'll demonstrate even further. And then this is the, uh, the piece that uh, is now inside that, uh, that section. And what happens with this is that you actually put your, the rubber sack is actually uh, you know, mounted on this little rubber piece, uh, plastic piece. And uh, then um, it actually then uh, goes into the pen and uh, seats uh, inside the section. And that uh, little uh, piece will actually, uh, you know, pressure seat or pressure seal uh, the pen. And then, of course, you've got your, uh, your uh, uh, feed there uh, that, uh, that uh, you know, draws your ink. Now I'm going to actually, uh, so it's interesting, so what you do is uh, when you uh, repair this is that you take your, uh, your sack, uh, place it on that uh, little uh, plastic piece, and then simply insert that plastic piece inside that cylinder, and then drive it down into the pen and then that seals uh, your sack. Now, uh, these are designed, uh, I understand, not to use any shellac, um, that it was uh, just uh, pressure fit into the, uh, into the cylinder here. And um, so that you can do that if you like uh, when you're working with this. I prefer to put a little shellac on there. Uh, I've been doing this uh, for quite a few years with uh, fountain pens and I enjoy that. Uh, that little uh, shellac that actually, you know, seals the thing up. Now, what I'm going to do is actually, uh, this is, I've not taken this one apart, so I'm actually going to uh, demonstrate uh, taking the, uh, the sack off and that little uh, nipple uh, that's in there and see if it'll uh, actually come apart for me, as many of these actually do. Well, the, the sack came off, and this old sack has never been used. Um, I don't trust it, though, so I'm going to actually replace uh, that sack uh, and, uh, uh, you know, put a new sack on it. Now, what I'm going to, let me see if this would come out. Uh, no, it will, come, it will not come with uh, just finger tight. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. So I see it uh, just comes off uh, like so. And as I mentioned, uh, this piece has never had ink, and so it's, uh, it's beautiful uh, crystal. Now, let's see if I can actually get that section out as well. It should come. Yeah, came right out. Brand new piece. I just want to see what the, uh, as I've shared before, the nib has a date code on it. I just want to see what the date code was um, on this one. This is 560, uh, so May of 1960. Um, now these old pins, uh, interestingly have a little piece of felt right there, as you can see, and, uh, the, uh, the feed actually runs underneath that section and then, uh, into the, that felt and that feeds up into the nib. Uh, just sort of interesting how that works. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, as I shared earlier, I've already cut a sack and let's see. Yeah. A little bit shorter than the original. Um, put a little bit of 
shellac on there. Now I saw on uh, one of the pen sites, somebody asked about getting shellac. Um, now, uh, a lot of the, the, the dealers sell uh, shellac. This is from uh, Pen Tooling. He's on the internet, great guy. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's $5 at a show uh, or from his uh, website. Uh, actually, you can go down to uh, Ace Hardware and buy a, a can of shellac for, uh, you know, 6 or $8. Uh, it might be more, but, uh, uh, and then you'll have shellac for the rest of your life. I mean, that's more than, than you'll ever need. So I'm going to mount this uh, sack on here. Um, there we go. And uh, notice um, it just uh, goes right on like that. And then I fit this into the cylinder. Okay, like so. And actually at this point you can just uh, depress the sack and, uh, and work with it. Now I'm going to remount the, uh, the nib in the section. Get the right distance. That little half crescent goes uh, right next to the edge of the, uh, the, the section there. Now with this uh, feed, uh, actually, I can just stick it right in there like that, like so. And I'm going to make sure that that little notch is in the top of the uh, of the section. And then just drive it home. Voila, all fixed. And uh, it seats inside. Um, and the knob filler uh, will work now. Um, Actually, I, I guess uh, as a purist, maybe you can actually rotate a little bit and you might like to have the, the knob, you know, facing in this direction. Uh, but it's now ready to take ink and write with. Um, and just stick it back together. And it's all ready to go. Okay. So um, if you have any questions about this process, um, email me at uh, d-a-y-n-i-x at aol.com and I'd be more than happy to uh, answer your questions uh, about this process. Uh, hey, uh, till next time, thanks much, bye.